I've been having problems with snoring and acid reflux and stuff like that sleeping so we decided we were going to try an adjustable bed base and um, we looked around we checked in one of the local furniture stores and they wanted almost 2k for the bed base and in the end I wound up getting one from walmart.com um, I wound up getting it for uh, $550 it's a uh, classic brands adjustable base um, the ones in a furniture store look just like this one too, so that probably was the same brand. Um, so I, I wound up buying at Walmart.com and did a ship to store because it was free shipping if you had a ship to store, and it was a real good experience. I uh, had it at the store three days later, and uh, you know I got the notice to pick it up, and they had two young guys just loaded in the back of the truck. Uh, turned out it's a I think this box is uh, almost 200 pounds. It's like the bed itself is like 185 pounds. So it is a, a fairly heavy unit if you do get one. And, um, you know, it's a lot of work. So, And it's funny because when I first started searching, Walmart.com was actually $600 for the bed frame, which I thought was pretty good. Then I went back and looked at it again the next day, and it dropped down to 580 And then... Um, I waited a day and I went back again and it was down to $550 and I said, gee, this can't go any lower. So I decided to just order it then and, um, you know, I think it was a really good deal. So it did come packaged. Well, as you can see, there was, you know, very little shipping damage. Um, unlike UPS, uh, they just destroyed another two boxes on me. Um, so, you know, here it is. Uh, those forks on the tractor are very handy for, you know, having an extra helper to move heavy stuff like this. So I um, got it over by the house and then went back and started opening it up. You can see it was packaged really well. You know, nice heavy duty cardboard box, um, clamshell type thing. It had a rubber or a plastic uh, wrap around the whole thing in a big bag. Um, there was a little bit of outgassing when I first opened that bag. I guess it's been sealed since it left China so you know stuff might be built up in there but it did uh, clear up really quick. Um, everything was really wonderfully packed. The quality was really great on this unit. Um, all the welds were good. Uh, you know the it looked to be really sturdily made. Uh, the actuators looked really nicely made and heavy duty everything was really packed in there well and strapped down and stuff to make the trip so i was real happy with that um but i decided i couldn't pick this up by myself and get it get it into the bedroom in one piece so i decided to break it down to two halves and i just took two of the uh the pivot bolts out and that allowed me to um you know just kind of pull it apart now I did have to unplug two of the cables also, but um, you know if you had enough people to carry it in, it would be a real easy job to just uh, set it up. But I decided to try to have my wife help with this piece. This was a lighter piece that had uh, less less mechanics on it and stuff, and that was kind of a mistake. Uh, kind of did her back in, so uh, that was the end of my help there. And you know then I was able to carry the other piece at least it was only about 100 pounds so and get that in the house now on walmart's website it's listed as a different brand but it is actually a, a classics brand adjustable comfort king size bed base and um, that seems to be a standard one that most of them sell then i i didn't really have to take the the hard top off back of my truck to uh, go down there. I didn't know how big the box was, so I just took it off to be safe because it, it only takes like two minutes to pop it off. Um, I just thought I'd show you how how easy this goes back on for a hard you know hard bed that really does seal up good. Um, I've had zero leaks in it since I I you know got the truck and stuff, so it does do a a really good job of closing up the back and. They really did do a nice job on those high desert boxes on the side and stuff. There you can see it's all, all of it goes together and the weather stripping all locks together in there and there's just two little clamps that hold each section in place. And once they're, they're locked down and the three sections are on, uh, when you lock the truck doors, everything in the back is locked also. So it's really a nice feature. So 
there's that last panel that just slides in there. And that locks down in her gasket sealed against the tailgate also. So, and I'm real happy with this feature of the truck. It was definitely worth it. Now going into the house, and this is our old bed. Uh, it's a, one of those select comfort air beds. It's a, I think it's about 25 years old now. It was one of the early ones that we got, and it's been in great shape. We did have to replace one air chamber on it, and we also threw a, um, a four inch mattress pad on top of it there too, just to make it like the new ones without having to buy a new bed. But you can pretty much hear the um, the foundation for it was really creaky and uh, noisy and there was nothing we could do to quiet it down so that's another reason why it had to go uh, I decided to remove the old bed frame and get that out of the way because the room just wasn't big enough to to work in and here's what that select comfort uh, foundation looked like it was just some plastic pieces that went together with a cover over it and a um, piece of egg crate foam there and I had put a piece of wood on there too to just stiffen it up a little bit years ago. But, um, you know, that's it. So, getting this old squeaky uh, bed base out of here now. Now, we had looked at one of these Select Comfort bed bases a couple of years back. We were thinking about, you know, going with the adjustable one. And um, that was just like almost three grand, I think, for by the time you got it delivered and stuff. So. You know, this is this is really the lowest cost option for us, and you know, I thought I'd give it a try. So you can you can see this uh, select comfort thing was just PVC strips that kind of snapped together, and they were real creaky and noisy and stuff like that. So we're glad to have it gone. And then there's 15 years of dust underneath the bed that I discovered and uncovered, and uh, had to clean that up there. And we finally decided that we didn't want this old king size bed so I took the whole thing out of the room and actually I sold it on Craigslist uh, in about 15 minutes so that was a quick sale so now it's time to to move in the bed um, I used a little dolly to roll the sections down the hall to make it easy to get them in and basically all you had to do is just screw the feet on now they come you can set it at three different heights I decided to use the uh, the highest longest legs tallest legs there but you can use a shorter one or um and there the two of them go together so there's two other lanes built in and then i got the other half here and that was easy to roll right down the hall and get in place and um now i have to go back and just put it back together where i uh took those two bolts out i just have to line it back up and put the bolts back into mounted together and it that you know really was very simple everything was really easy to get at well made and um no problems at all it's pretty impressive when you look at all the steel tubing and everything in this base and the actuators and stuff you just couldn't build it for the amount you can buy it for with all the cabling and stuff like that and there's also some usb connectors on the side there too so I got that back together and um, just had to screw on the rest of the legs here and everything just you know tightened right up and uh, went together very easy everything lined up and threads were good and stuff like that and now comes the tough part trying to flip it over uh, it, it is quite heavy it would really help to have a couple people when you do something like this but uh, I was able to stand it up on end and then just slide it back a little bit kind of tough working in a small room I think the room was designed to you know hold a queen size bed people that had it built and uh, we we like the king size because with the dogs you need the extra space so that was just uh, just slide it in place and then let it down and you know pretty much it, it's all ready to go and if you had extra help you could have just carried it in in one per piece there um, so now there's a couple mattress holders that go on the bottom uh, they didn't quite perfectly uh, the, the holster everything didn't quite perfectly line up with the fabric and stuff like that so I just had to take a little block of wood and tap it in there but uh, once they went in there really locked in place good and you know everything really did fit nice 
Now, when I went to plug it in, I, I didn't realize it. You know, I hadn't seen this feature existed on it until now. There's a little door there on the side where you can put two 9-volt batteries in there and have a um, battery backup in case the power goes out. The bed will still go down and work. Uh, that's a pretty neat feature. So there it is. Uh, I plugged it in and got the remote control and just decided to try it and see how it worked how noisy it was and everything else and uh, it just moves so it's, it's slow it's not really fast but it moves very slow it moves uh, very smoothly and it is extremely quiet for the type of actuators that they're using so the head does go up quite a bit there and then the um, the feet actually go up quite a bit also so that first I put the head up and this is the feet going up so it's really going to be uh, a great addition if you want to sit there and read or you want to watch TV or something like that before bed uh, you just hit the buttons and you know set it up and it's got a zero gravity button and it's got uh, two little vibrators built in there if you want to massage and it's you know pretty much does everything it's got some USB plugs in there and it's got some pretty high quality fabric around the outside and stuff so they did you know they did do a nice job for the price I'm just amazed so, uh, you know, there, there's kind of what it looks like and, you know, how high it goes up and stuff like that. And then you can just hit a, uh, a flat button and it'll automatically go back down. And uh, one thing I'm going to tell you, it's tough. We found out, we've been using it for a couple of weeks now. We did find out that it's kind of tough with uh, two people to try to get an adjustment that works good for both of them for sleeping at night. Um, my wife has a tendency to roll over and sleep on her stomach and stuff like that. So, you know, we, we've been just adjusting a little bit at a time until we get it to the best spot. But um, it has helped so far with my uh, acid reflux. And I haven't been snoring since I've had my head up a little bit and stuff. So it looks like it's going to really pay off in the long run. But my... Uh, air mattress back on here it's like comfort and the tubing on it is a little bit short for putting the bed all the way up in the high position but I'll have to just extend that and that fits on there nice it's uh you know it's not very thick but we got this pad for it here and uh it really uh you know makes it comfortable I tell you after sleeping on this for 25 years it's still like uh you know the day we bought it it's still comfortable so I highly recommend these as select comfort beds, but they are expensive to start out with. So I got the mattress back on, got it put together, and I figured I'd just, uh, you know, just try moving it around a little bit and see how it feels. And, um, and it actually uh, had no problem with my wife and I on there and the dogs, you know changing position moving up and down and um i do keep it just slightly elevated for sleeping now and uh, it's been working out really good and if you want to sit there with a computer or a tablet or the tv's on the wall opposite you can just sit there and uh, put it up and watch tv comfortably and stuff so i think for what it costs it's really uh, going to be a great investment and one of the things i didn't uh, really realize until i finally sat down and read the manual on it is that uh, it comes with a three-year warranty on everything so uh, you don't have to worry for three years which I thought was really a uh, pretty amazing that they'd back something for that long for you know being at this price point so hopefully I never needed everything looked like it was quality but I I really think it was uh, you know worth the investment and dogs are still a little bit confused about it she still doesn't know what's going on there she she barks at it stuff when it moves so it'll take her a while to settle in on it but um it definitely uh does give you the adjustability to get comfortable you know when you go to bed so i i really like it oh, yeah I, I sat there and probably played with this thing for half an hour going up and down and seeing what was the most comfortable okay. position oh, and the they've got a zero gravity <laughs> button on the bed that you can push and it, um, once I hit that zero gravity position, I actually, uh, fell asleep and took a nap for an hour. So, um, you know, it put me right out just, uh, putting it together and playing with it. So now the dog can go mountain climbing in the bedroom there and, um, everybody, uh, can get a good night's sleep at night. Now for something like this, if you're just starting out and you don't have the king size bed, um, I'd recommend going with a split 
base on it so each of you have your own remote and own adjustment so you can you know change it and sleep the way you want at night but this is what we had to start out with and um you know this this really does make a big difference and there's the uh, manual on it and there's basically uh what it looks like all put together i'll keep everybody updated on how well it actually does stand up over time thanks for watching Please subscribe.